Okay, so Big Mouse, this is my V2 Stealth Changer Serial Quest. Um, I made a video, it was too big for the Stealth Changer guys, so I'm making a YouTube video. And uh, so I'll stop it whenever I think there's something I need to point out. So we'll just go. Oh, oh, we missed that. So, uh, yeah, it's playing funny with the camera. This is because this is uh, silk, PLA silk, and the gray is regular PLA. And so I used the wrong printing profile and all that jazz, so I've got stringy, stringy, stringiness. Um, yeah. So uh, I used an old build plate um, on this thing because, as you can see, you can clearly see a Voron cube there. Um, I knew I was going to screw up getting all the Z's right, and I did. So this side has the Voron cube imprinted in an old plate. The other side has um, a 40 by 40 square that I was using. So, yeah, that's that's a thing. And as you can see, it's printing the cube right now, doing multicolor. Um, so, oh, we'll pause it right there. I'll go back a little bit. I decided to do six tool heads, and because I didn't want to actually put numbers on them, I just did them in the rainbow color. So we got one through six. As you can see, we'll scroll ahead a little bit. Right, We've got the rainbow going on. I only have two tool heads on this. Um, I'm using Nighthawk 36s. And the Nighthawk had a recall. These two are working fine for me. So when the Nighthawk comes out, I'll do the rest of the tool heads in order. Um, I've got the Bird's Nest by Exhibit on the back of this. Uh, I've done multiple ways of doing the umbilical on this. And let me get this guy's name right. And I'll probably put this in the video just so everyone knows who it is and can get it if they want to copy it. Um, let's see. And... Nimi, N3MI, Nimi, uh, he did this, this is all TPU here, this came out with really, I mean, it's a combination of the, the Stealth Changer guy's version of TAP, it's just phenomenal, it works, it's a bit finicky, right, it's, it's a little exacting to get it in here, but once you got it connected, and then uh, the Nimi's uh, umbilical mod, it, I'm getting great input shaping graphs on this thing. I was pleasantly surprised. I tried to do my own a little bit more of a, try to do a, um, a uh, Prusa XL kind of version thing where it goes up really high in the back, starts up here. It, it didn't work. It's caused more problems than it is. So um, the Nimi's uh, TPU one works really well. It uses a, he's got a couple, he's got one uses a wire. I went with the flat spring steel because um, I felt that that gave it more, it wasn't going to move side to side as much, because the round, it didn't, wasn't round with the wire. Um, so let's keep going here. So I did try, I want to say something, I did try the G2 ZXXLs for the Zs. Uh, I was warned against it, because they don't, you, they can't do the acceleration that the regular um, Z motors can. And, uh, yeah, should have listened to them. Should have listened to them. I had to go back to the regular Z motors here and here. Um, they just, I, it was just racking itself. So if you would, one of the issues is if you go up too fast in Z, your motor, your front motors generally will go up and the backs will stay down if you go, if your acceleration or velocity is too fast. So you'll effectively rack your Y axis on both sides. Um, this is just a spare uh, piece of uh, aluminum. Uh, extrusion. I got this from, uh, I think it was Fabrico. Gave, uh, let me get that. So that was great of them. Uh, corner pieces. These are mandatory. If you're going to do it this style, not the door style, the corner pieces are mandatory or else this thing right here will rotate on you. So you got to have these in here. Uh, let's keep going. A little, a little junk over there. We're not looking at that. That's, we're ignoring that. This is Steve Builds mod, um, uh, mod right here. He did this on his, I think it's his green V2. Um, my cable is a little bit longer, I think, and it, it's bent in there, and I haven't been able to straighten it. It should flip back behind this. Mine does not, as you can see. I've tried making this longer, but it didn't uh, didn't work. Um, I double sheared the backs. 
eh, I'm only using six millimeter belts, so I can't really go up much higher in tension. I have a video on the working tension if you're interested in how much you, what's the max tension, the max working tension, not the max breaking tension, which are two different things, but the max working tension on these belts. Um, but I like the double shears because I can, I can over tension it from the stand, Boron standard, and it's not going to bend the uh, motor shaft. So as we go a little more, that's a really bright light. I used one of those, what are the, uh, the, uh, the nine LED versions. I just have it set for, for the color of the printer. Yep, waiting on four Nighthawks. Um, I, the cups, I need a better, uh, I think I need a better spring underneath them because it doesn't really go up. Uh, that's what I want is it more force on the bottom, and that's to prevent ooze. And you'll see here as it comes up, mine doesn't really hit this thing at all. This, uh, it's supposed to scrape on the nozzle. Mine doesn't really hit it. It's it's proud. It's a little high. Um, here we're going to go see the stealth change. And for some reason, I got to talk to uh, Theseon. There's always like a little pause here before it comes in. Let's, let, me, let, me, let me go back to that. So, you, okay, so it came, it's coming over. And what you'll see is when it comes over, it pauses for a little bit. Then it goes in. It could be my speeds, Theseon or... or uh, you guys over there, BT123, or who's the other guy? He's been helping me a lot. Uh, I forget everyone's name. Uh, JD, you guys, if you if you know what's going to go on here, just let me know. And I'll, I'll fix it. But you see there's a pause, and then it comes in. And it does a little bink. These, uh, let me go back here. They updated these um, right here, these very end. They made it flat, and they put little feet on here. That has worked wonders. I, my, my tool head, I'm using Dragon Burners, as you can see, no longer rolls at all. It's just, it just stays there flat. So I think that's a really good addition. I'm using the uh, belt, which is the belt keeper, the belt keeper. So I lose a little bit. I lose, like, was that, three millimeters in uh, Y? But that's just, I, I like using it. The other one is uh, the belt helper, I think it is. Like, you can, you can do it that way. But I, personally, I prefer this. And so then we're going to go back. Successful pickup. Oh, I mean, so with the, uh, you can see it here. I went with one of these long ones, and I forget who makes it. I honestly do. Um, but what I found with, this, let's go back here. So if we look here, the, the Nighthawk, they have some exposed wires here. And if you look here and like here, this is like the standard on one of these uh, EBB36s to uh, wrap the wires or with zip ties right to hold it but I, I didn't want to do that here because I might break those wires so I went for the long one and it seems to be working it, it zip ties it up here holds the wire in place it also has a hole for um, if you wanted to do a wire through there I tried that uh, the Nimi's uh, umbilical mod was just so much better than, than trying to f put a wire into here into the umbilical arm the, the tool head board mount and there it goes and it's gonna I gotta work on my purge towers I know it's all tuning but yeah so it, it's printing a little stringy a little stringy give it some miracle grow yeah no actually there's no string it's 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 not the stringing you're looking for and that's it so that's my uh, my uh, serial quest for my stealth changer and uh, my V2, thank you very much.